Tucker McCann's got it set up and ready to go. And we are underway from the Superdome. This taken in at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. Here are the commanders for their first drive of the game. And they will be led out by the youngster, the rookie, their QB. His ability to adjust on the fly is almost unmatched in the game right now because it leads to a couple of snaps per game where you just sit back and ask yourself, how did he pull that off? Opponents can practice and prepare each and every week all they want, but this guy, he is hard to corral. They throw right away, and that's complete out on the right side. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 16 yards on the game's first play and a quick first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Second and ten. Back to throw. Daniels. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of them, it's low and incomplete. They are such a talented team at defending the perimeter and taking away throws to the outside. Great confidence, great skill. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. They'll look to throw again. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. The Washington passing game dialed in now. It's a first down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. They'll run for the first time with Austin Eckler. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they will pay dividends as the game progresses. Two yards to go, second down. Off play action, Daniels. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 26. Give them 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. Throwing on first down, Daniels. Looking for Dotson, and he's got him. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Well, no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game. And nice pass there. And now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner. And that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams march it right to the goal line and not cash in. They've got something dialed up here that puts it in the end zone. Not only did they drop what looked like an interception in the end zone, they blew a golden opportunity to shift the momentum. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Again, he'll drop to throw. Dotson has it. Touchdown, Commanders. A nine-yard touchdown there. And the Commanders will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. They got to love that. Nine-play drive results in six points. That means they're doing the dictating. That means that they've described how the game's going to go. They're playing at their tempo, at their pace. If you're on the other side of the ball, if you're playing defense, defense is not methodical. They've got to go in there and shake things up and create a little havoc. McManus' point after is good, and it's now a 7-0 game.
Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. They're led out by their quarterback out of Fresno State, Derek Carr. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. And this will wind up a Saints first down as he's able to take this up to the 30-yard line. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Carr. Got a man complete to Cedric Wilson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a pickup of 12. Second play in a row with a 12-yard gain. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. Looked like they were set up defensively in a zone coverage, but somehow they found a seam because that receiver all alone by rights, that should have been a touchdown, but somehow this ball's overthrown. On second down, Kamara. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. From the gun now on third down, Carr. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, I'm quite sure that they envisioned a much better start to this game when they practiced all week. But they failed on that third down play. That brings up fourth down, and they'll probably have to punt it away. On fourth down, on is the punter, Colby Wadman. Back deep here, Jamison Crowder. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this punt sails over the sideline, and the spot, it looks to be right at the 25-yard line. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7-0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 to nothing lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. On first down, Daniels. Middle of the field, he's got McLaurin. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. I think defensively, you're okay with that. And you're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Second down and three.
Once more, here's Eckler. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And for the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. That is caught, and he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. That was a lightning fast decision that time. He just caught it and got rid of it. Because he saw his guy was going to be open immediately, so he took the R, the run, out of the play. He took the O, the option, out of the play and immediately got to the pass. Up the middle with Eckler. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. A gain of three, second down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. And Washington with a football here to begin quarter number two. And they'll come up second and seven as they've got it as we resume action. To throw on second down. Daniels. Target is to Dotson, and he's got him. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10, and mark him at the 5. 39 yards there, a big one. He scored their touchdown earlier, and this had a chance to be another. This secondary scrambling for answers, looking at each other, trying to figure out who is going to put the clamps on this guy, because right now, he's absolutely shredding them. Eckler now between the tackles. Gets around him. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. If you're going to keep these guys out of the end zone, you've got to be able to commit to stopping the run. And that's a nice job there getting the safeties involved in run support. From the two now, second and goal. Eckler again. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Austin Eckler taking it in from two yards out. And the Commanders have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Well, he'd been the workhorse on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with a touchdown run. Now McManus for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. A 10-play drive that time. And it's Austin Eckler who finishes things off with a touchdown run. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. On the return, here's Shahid. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling OK. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. From the 34-yard line, here's second and a couple. Card out of throw. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. 
The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Third down and one. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. There's the stiff arm. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. Well, partner, that's one of the problems when you sell out to stop the run on third and short. Sometimes you break the initial wall and you go a long way. So how do you prevent it? <laughs> that's tough to do. That really is tough to do. And one of the things offenses like to do nowadays in practice, you know, they do a lot of working against equal numbers. They'll start putting more and more numbers on defense and just telling the offensive guys, figure it out, learn how to block it. We may see this situation. Staying on the ground on first with Kamara. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Strong coverage by Washington, and now fourth down. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. On fourth down, on is Colby Wadman now to punt. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Well, another drive coming up for this Washington offense. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball, so they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. Yeah, they're almost pushing them to the brink, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you're just now supposed to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Offense, defense, you name it, it's going well for them. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. Give him six on the play, and that'll make it a second down. Pretty good first down play. Keeps them ahead of schedule, as they say. And ostensibly, they could go right back to it because there are multiple options on this play. Hand it inside. Quarterback tucks it and keeps it. Quarterback throws the ball downfield. You should be able to react to the defense and have an option available on every snap. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. From the gun on third down, Daniels work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. A handoff, it's Eckler, and he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. 
From the 46-yard line, a second down and six. It's Eckler again. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. It's a first down for Washington on a pickup of 11. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. On first and 10, Daniels. And this is Ertz with it, right side. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. With Charles in the past, a lot of people called this offense one-dimensional. I think you did. Well, I think it was you. I'll be honest, I did. <laughs> I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkles in this offense like we just saw. I think you're exactly right because we did have that discussion that what we've seen in the past from them, they needed to broaden, and they have done it here. Look at what he's bringing to their offense, and now as a defensive coordinator, You've got some extra. Touchdown, Washington. Jamison Crowder, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Commanders will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game and no signs of slowing down. McManus now for the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it was all capped off on the touchdown reception by Jamison Crowder. Washington kick team back out there now as they will send this one away. From his end zone, here's Rashid Shahid. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision, loses him about four yards. The Saints offense going to head out now late in this first half. I don't think they need to be reminded of the situation here. I mean, the clock is dwindling. Three-score deficit waiting for them at halftime unless they can get something on the board here before intermission. Play action. Now it's Carr. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and 10. Now back to throw. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. This time they stay on the ground. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. So after the run by Kamara, now another first and 10. 
to throw its car. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. On play action, it's Carr. He gets it left side to Johnson. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 17 there in a New Orleans first down. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. There's Chris Olave. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Let's do this, man. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now Carr. On the check down, he finds Kamara. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. McCann's kick is good, and the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. So, Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So three drives, three points, obviously not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports halftime report. It was Austin Eckler who was the star of that first half. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Saints going to go on offense first, and they trail here as we begin quarter number three. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. Now the Saints going to take over on offense to begin this third quarter. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. 
And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball into the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. Carr going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 16. He'll start with a give to Kamara, and that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. How about Jonathan Allen there pushing up field to make the stop behind the line? Well, if these guys are going to chop into that deficit, they're going to have to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage would be found. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Now Carr. It gets this complete to Shahid. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. But forget knowing where the first down line was. His defense created their own line of scrimmage. They won every battle up front. And a lot of times that is one-on-one. -on -one. And if you win your one-on-ones enough times, your defense is going to be pretty good. They had more people to the football and snuffed out the play. Here comes the Saints punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. Crowder now to return. That'll go as a punt of 42, seven on the return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. First possession of the second half now for Washington. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. And they've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. Able to power through. He'll take it past the 40 to the 41, second down. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. Looking to throw on second down. Daniels buying time to his left. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. I thought he did a nice job there setting an edge and make sure nothing could get to the outside. But he decided that wasn't enough for him. Worked his way back inside and made the tackle on the ball carrier. Here's Tressway now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. He'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. And now the Saints get set to trot out there. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Carr going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 18. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Over the middle and complete to Shahid. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards picking up the first. And you start to think if it's going to happen for these guys, it's got to start with this drive. Down three scores. They need to start making some inroads. And that'll help the cause there as they pick up good yardage in a first down. Carr now on first down. And 
his throw here is incomplete. Let's give some credit to the defensive guys on that play. Able to bat that one away. Sure looked like they were trying to hit the corner route. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. They'll drop to throw. Downfield, and he's got a lobby. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 23 yards to pick up there. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football, and right now I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Now a play fake. Carr. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Jeremy Chin, so dangerous wherever he's at on the field, and that time he gets in there for the sack. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it. It's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is, because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. Carr to throw on second down. Wilson's got it complete. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. To throw his car. Complete to Alave on the out route. And I don't think he got there, no. Gee, short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. If this were baseball, we'd call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down, but the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. And he missed it. It's no good, and the deficit will stay at three scores. Now listen, now no kick from 50-plus is a gimme, but here you're indoors in a dome. You'd think ideal conditions. Yeah, and it's one that he would expect himself to make, not just us expecting him to make it. Over the years, my theory is very simple. The athletic ability of kickers continues to get better and better. Check their backgrounds. They were all county, all state, and other positions, not just soccer players. These guys expect themselves to be great as well. So after the missed long field goal attempt, this offense set up nicely at the 44-yard line. Here's a quick throw out wide. It's McLaurin. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Operating from the gun, Daniels. And that's into the hands of Eckler. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Running on first down, Eckler. He'll get this down to the 38. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. From the 38 now, here comes second and eight. And that falls to the ground incomplete. Well, a nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. To throw on third down, Daniels. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. And he's not going to get the first down. He had to get to the 30, but he's a yard or two short. 
We have played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now here live in New Orleans. It's Washington with the football and the lead as we start the fourth. And we'll begin it with a field goal try here. From the right hash, this from 48. The kick by McManus is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so, and maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so that you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. On the return, here's Shaheed. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The New Orleans offense set to take over. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Carr going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And his throw is going to be incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. From the gun, it's Carr. Drops this off to Kamara out of the backfield, and he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This is a nice job of just taking what the defense is going to give you on third down. You're not looking for a big play downfield. You just want to find something that can get you past the marker. They found it and were able to keep the drive moving. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now Carr. They'll get this out to Kamara. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. You got the big lead defensively willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. Carr now to throw. And this one too low. Well, it just seems like all game long there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. That is caught. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. 
Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked up by Noah Igbenogany. And the Commanders will take over here just shy of the 30. Well, just another reason to celebrate there on the defensive side with the interception. And this is a game that they clearly have firmly in their grasp. Yeah, a lot of handshakes, a lot of hugs, a lot of smiles. It's been their day. The Washington offense set to take over. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. They started on the ground with Eckler. 49 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. So fourth quarter, a nice run there to start this drive. Charles, what do you think the split will be here between run and pass? Well, partner, I think it'll lean towards the run, but this is also not a time where you just totally do that. You still have to possess the ball, move the sticks, and keep the clock moving as well. So they'll run their offense, but yeah, when they have a chance to run it, they'll do that a little bit more. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Hate to be blunt, but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this O-line is manhandling this D-line right now. They deserve to roll up their sleeves and show up their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described, manhandling the defensive front. They've got the leverage, they're powering through, and they're controlling this game. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards, and that'll bring up second down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. From the 46, here's a second and seven. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. It's a first down for Washington on a pickup of 11. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Second down and four. Motion man is Crowder. Now they'll fake the jet sweep and give it instead to Eckler. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. That one, a first down pickup of eight. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it second down. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. On second down, Eckler. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Now it looks like he'll throw here. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. 
I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. On the give, this is Eckler. And he's in. Touchdown, Commanders. Austin Eckler, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Commanders up the lead to four scores now here in this fourth quarter. Well, there's just about a minute left in this game, and they're still taking it into the end zone. And you know they could have taken a knee there, but they decided to play this one all the way out. And I think their philosophy is we're going to give you everything we've got, if we just go ahead and take a knee now, we're actually showing you disrespect that way, like taking pity on you. They're not about to do that to their opponent. Extra point from McManus is good, and that'll increase their lead to 28. Kick team out there for the Commanders as they send this one away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Now the Saints offense, they get ready to go back to work here. Well, CD, it's all window dressing at this point. I mean, the best they can do is end the game with a nice drive to maybe build some momentum to move forward into their next contest. Yeah, and with how lopsided this game has been, even one score might not do a lot of cosmetic good on the scoreboard partner because it's just about looking forward at this point get a touchdown here give yourself some positive momentum and reps to focus on when you get back to practice in the next couple of days now a desperation throw deep downfield and that will be incomplete would have been a big hitter if they had connected instead it's second down Looks like they're going to keep throwing until the bitter end. This one's long since over, but give them credit. They're going to go down fighting. That one, incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Working from the gun, it's Carr. He finds his man, Johnson. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Here is third down and four. Throwing now is Carr. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Emmanuel Forbes. And he will bring this one back. An interception return for a commander's touchdown. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead. And it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things. But these guys are going to be freewheeling now. All of them are going to take chances. And that one? pays off with an INT and a return for six. Now McManus to tack on the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Washington kick team back out there now as they will send this one away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. 
They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. Don't forget today. <laughs> Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going forward. Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. And never forget it because... You're not going to want that feeling no, again. No, you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may meet up with this team again. So a victory here for the Commanders. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no point points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.